Aloha and welcome to Healing Ways with Kayla Ray. I wanted to check in today and talk a little bit about fear of judgment. So I've been working on all my positivity and including joy in my day, playing with my cat, doing this after work, and there's been a lot of goodness I'm feeling. I'm feeling more excitement, but it doesn't ever take away some of the reflective moments that we have to have. It doesn't just make everything all good and like I don't have any fears or frustrations. So that stuff is still there for us to deal with. And the thing that's been coming up for me more recently is fear of judgment. And I know that some of this is coming up because I am doing these videos, because I'm putting myself out there. I'm being more brave about what I have to do in life and what I feel is my calling. However, it doesn't come easily. There are times in which I don't do videos, in fact, because I feel silly. I feel weird. I feel afraid I'm going to be judged by friends and family. And I think it's coming up more now because I'm going to the mainland. I'm going back to see family. Uh, my sister's getting married, which is awesome, and I'm really excited. And with family events comes everyone from your past. Both sides, um, my sister's side, my side, her um, new family side, and my husband's side. We're gonna see everybody. And part of me is really excited about that. And another part of me has fear, it brings up fear, especially when I'm doing these videos. I'm putting myself out there and I'm speaking about the unconventional parts of myself the parts of myself that I don't always let people see, the parts of me that believes in more of the metaphysics that's spiritual, the parts of me that's unconventional, that's you know what some people would call as strange or different, and that's hard. And I sometimes wonder why I do it. And in my heart I know that I do it because it's several fold, but one, I know I'm not the only one going through all of this, and I know I'm not the only one that feels this way. And two, it helps make me brave. This is what I need to do for me, to be myself, to allow myself to have that strength. But it doesn't come naturally. It's not an easy thing to do, and some days I doubt it, and I'm not sure that I'm on the right path, or that I'm doing the right thing, or that I'm saying the right things, or that it's okay for me to be how I am. So I still have those doubts a lot. And as much as I try and stay positive, it doesn't just magically make it better. It doesn't magically make me more brave. So I recently had a moment and I'm in the shower and all of these fears are coming up. And that's a place where it, it can happen because we're alone. We're alone and we're reflective. And I'm having this moment where I'm starting to feel doubt about myself about not knowing if I'm sure, um, scared about seeing family members, um, friends, and fearing their judgment, and if I'm on the right path and wondering about myself. And instead of just wallowing in it or distracting myself from it, which are the two main tactics that I think most of us do, I thought I would try something else. What's it gonna hurt? So first I tried doing this. And I just stood in the shower thinking about my fears, doing the hands wide open, stretched up, you know, celebration, surrender feeling, which was interesting. And for a few minutes doing this, I couldn't really worry. It sort of stopped my worry. But it created sort of a fuzzy, not thinking moment, which sort of felt like distraction. And then when I put my arms down, it kind of came back. So. That was an interesting experiment to begin with. And I thought, okay, what would feel more natural? That felt like a distraction. It didn't feel quite right. What would feel more right? So I tried this and I put my hands on my heart and then I allowed myself to just think of the worry and let it come up again. This was really helpful. It reminded me to get heart centered because in my last video I talked about body language, right? And our body is so attuned that we've done all of these 
postures for generations and generations that they're symbolic now and our cell memory remembers and knows what that means and even for myself when I do this this is usually like a a big feeling moment I'm feeling into myself sometimes it's vulnerability but for me it's a lot of connecting with my spirit self with my um, creator with with that part of myself that's connected and so when I do that I feel a very different feeling there's a strength and vulnerability that comes but it allows me to go through it and so when I did this and I shut my eyes and I really thought about feeling vulnerable feeling exposed feeling judged what came up for me were thoughts like but you're being yourself you're demonstrating love and bravery and it's okay and I love you and you're being real and that's the best thing you can do for you and so no matter what even when judgments come it's not about you it's about them everyone's on their own journey it's okay to be who you are it's okay to be brave I got a lot of really heartfelt messages from myself and yeah I still thought about it I still had worry but there was a connectedness there was an understanding there was a love and unconditionalness that came up with this posture so I've started experimenting with that more and more when I feel those moments of self-doubt the moments of fear that come up even financial fear and worry business worry I've been trying to do this check in with myself check in with my higher self and with God spirit universe whatever you want to call it and I take a breath and I can get that feeling of reassurance and wisdom because if I don't always know my heart does and so I don't always have the answers to how to get through fear I don't think anybody does it's human and it's something that we all must wrestle with but I just wanted to put out what I've been doing because I know I'm not the only one that wrestles with it and it seemed to help me so I encourage you to give it a try and let me know how it goes and I'd love to just start a discussion about how do you deal with those fears that come up especially those self-doubts because even though we can say now is the time to be ourselves to really embrace life to be who you are to be brave it doesn't make it easier to do so I'm curious to know how everyone else is managing how you're getting through I'd love to hear your comments below and give this a try let me know how it goes for you thanks for listening to today's healing ways and until next time aloha